Alright guys, welcome back. This time we're going to have a look at the error handling vulnerability. So the description that we get by Ovis Chew Shop is we have to provoke an error that is neither very gracefully nor consistently handled. So what could that be? If we should provoke an error, that usually means we should fire in an input that the web application, and in that case, Ovo's Chew Shop, is not expecting. So let's request a couple of links. Let's just click around, collect a couple of links, see how the web app works. Actually, see, still have a payload from the last video in here. We don't need that right now. I'm going to close that. All right, so let's go into Burp and see what we have collected. So what we see here is that we are talking with an endpoint called slash rest. And depending on we want to check out, for example, a product or a user, we have different endpoints. So what happens if we send that to repeater? Let's do that. Go to repeater and see what happens if I just resend this request. It says not modified. Okay, I don't really see a specific error message in here or poor error handling. So what happens if I delete products? Um, let's keep the rest endpoint and let's put down get rest hacks plane because we really like hacks plane. So let's see what happens if I send that to the server. Whoa. What just happened? We immediately see a green box popping up saying you successfully solved the challenge. Error handling provoke an error that is neither very gracefully nor consistently handled. Let's make our burp window a little bigger and see what we got. So the first thing that we see is an HTTP 500 response. And that is an internal server error. And what we see is that we got back a JSON body with an error message saying unexpected path. So that means the web application doesn't really know what it should do with rest slash hexplain because it doesn't exist. And if you have JSON Purifier installed, which is a bird plugin, you can look at the JSON in a little prettier way and see what we got. Actually, I prefer the raw edit in that sense because I like the green. But let's see, it just says error unexpected path, the hex plane route in Angular is not found, blah blah blah. Doesn't really matter. We don't have to look at that error message anymore because we've already solved the challenge as we can see over here. Alright, this was it. As always guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, subscribe, and keep hacking over the shop.